Hi, hello, I'm Marcin Kutz, I have Kuchni, and I came here to Cyprus from Warsaw to tell you about halloumi, a cheese made from goat, cow and sheep milk. And of course it's being shipped worldwide by Rabban Group. So let's talk about it. So I'm here with Petros Petro, a production manager in Petro Gross company, the company that makes our beloved halloumi. Where are we? Uh, we are in one of our biggest uh, sheep and goat farmer. Mm -hmm. It's where we are collecting uh, sheep and goat milk with our own trucks mm -hmm. and deliver it to our company in order to make uh, our beloved halloumi. Uh, we collect it fresh from the farm, mm -hmm. we take it to our factory, store it, then uh, pasteurize it and we'll see the procedure later okay. on. So let's go to a more quiet place and uh, talk about it and uh, you can show me every step of, of making halloumi. So we're back from the production uh, with uh, Petros Petro, the production manager here in um, Petrobras um, Dairy Products Limited. It was a very nice trip, but tell us about how halloumi is being made here. So halloumi is made uh, purely for, from milk, mm -hmm. cow, sheep and goat milk. We use fresh milk every day, we pasteurize them, we put the rennet as, uh, as you saw, then there is a division of the curd that's mm -hmm. being formed. Yeah. Then we place it in the molds to give it the shape that we want. Mm -hmm. uh, we have different kind of shapes that we can give to yeah. the cheese, big and blocks. The, the uh, folding smaller. looks very nice. And then we have to fold yeah. after it's being cooked. So mm -hmm. what makes halloumi unique is uh, the cooking yeah. process, which is uh, gives that texture and uh, give halloumi a higher melting point so mm -hmm. that we can grill and fry. Mm -hmm. how, yeah. many, how many degrees do you need to cook it? Uh, the temperature of the whey that's being cooked mm -hmm. is uh, above 95 degrees. So that's when we know that's ready. It has to be taken out warm in order for us to be mm -hmm. able to fold it because one is, once it gets uh, cold back, mm -hmm. then you won't be able to fold it. It will break mm -hmm. when you fold and it. And why do you have to fold uh, the cheese? That's the traditional uh, mm -hmm. way of doing it. And uh, we brine it, put in brine, and then on the next day after 24 hours we pack and then pass it through metal detection. <laughs> because of the metal that yeah. there is in the factory, the mold, but, so everything. But does it, does it happen? Uh, you have to be safe. It's also a standard that we use in the factory and throughout the world, so we have to follow some okay. standards. So how many do you make a, make a day? So we use approximately 200, uh, 280,000 liters of milk, which is Every day. Only 40 tons of halloumi every day. If you multiply by four, it's 160,000 <laughs> pieces per day. So that's what makes you uh, the number one uh, uh, halloumi supplier in yes, the world. Uh, it's good to uh, see that uh, um, that you, as a part of a family who started this company, that you work on an uh, everyday basis, like you put it, uh, put the cheese to our track. I worked in the production, in the pasteurizing, at the packaging, mm -hmm. loading, unloading. I pass from all of all the stages and I try to help. We work together to, to reach a goal, so to produce and send a good product to our customers. And that's why you're working with Rabban Group, because good people work with good people. That's true, exactly. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the way it is, yeah. And uh, we work with uh, Rabban and Fresh Logistics for so long and we are expanding uh, every year and we are very happy about that. And, all the help and that they are providing to us and uh, the support. So when you transport uh, this, uh, this very uh, halloumi cheese, uh, uh, what's uh, the, the um, temperature it needs to be? We have to in? keep the cold chain mm -hmm. for this throughout the delivery, all the no. distribution. It has to be below six degrees. But halloumi you can also uh, freeze it, but uh, we don't do that mm -hmm. when we use, uh, because we deliver it fresh. Uh, let's talk about a um, sustainability. What do you do uh, to, to, to get your um, uh, uh, get this place working on a clean energy? Uh, at the moment, we have uh, placed uh, all, in all over our roofs solar mm -hmm. panels, and we are getting the solar energy up 
now it's approximately 30 percent of mm -hmm. this uh, of the total electricity consumption that we have. We take it from our solar panels, and we are planning on expanding this. We use the way to produce mm -hmm. uh, biogas, okay. which we burn for and produce steam for our production, which uh, has um, this is a green energy, and we manage to reduce the emissions uh, by a lot. This is the storage of the biogas that okay. we produce uh, in the big reactors there. Wow. So we use the way mm -hmm. in order to, in uh, under anaerobic uh, uh, yeah. reactor reaction, mm -hmm. in order to produce the biogas, which is okay. methane and the carbon dioxide. We store it here and we use it, we pump it to the boiler in order to produce the steam for the factory. <laughs> Right. and heat up the milk and the, all the product that we have so, to. Uh, you have a, a massive bump over here, uh, which <laughs> is eco-friendly. Yeah. We're here with Mihalis Petro, a commercial manager of uh, um, Petro Bros Dairy Products uh, Ltd. Yes. That's the, that's <laughs> the um, whole name. Um, and you're the one, number one um, world producer of halloumi cheese. Yes. Tell us about the story. Our company history started in 1982, 40 mm -hmm. years ago, in Alhambra village. Uh, my grandmother was uh, producing halloumi cheese mm -hmm. and yogurt in uh, the village for the local uh, area. And uh, my dad decided to start the production of halloumi cheese professionally. And uh, since 1982, we are a family business. And uh, today we are in the second generation of the company. We are exporting our cheese to 40 countries all over the right. world. And we have a market share of about 30% of the total uh, Cyprus halloumi cheese. You sell uh, your products over uh, in over 40 countries uh, worldwide yes. and uh, you need logistics to uh, make it happen. How does it work? One of our main uh, partners is Rabin, mm -hmm. that we use to supply many countries all over the world. And uh, we are sure that we can develop more and more the business with logistics department mm -hmm. because it's very important for us to keep the, the safety of the deliveries okay. and to deliver on time every, every batch we are producing. Yeah, because it's dairy, it has to be uh, transported in yes. cold, so uh, that's why Rabin is the best uh, one to work yes. with. Okay, let's cook something out of those uh, amazing products. <laughs> 